Alrighty, hello there gamers. Welcome to another journal. It's great to have you today. Let's get on to the video. Honestly, the first highlight I gotta say is that I finally cleaned my room. Like, floor is like clear. I have my clothes, got some Lego sets, got more Lego sets. And then we also have a good place for some reading equipment. And then we have my editing place. Last time you could barely see the floor. Like, it was that bad. Another thing that I'm proud about is going to UGA News Source. I've been wanting to go to UGA News Source for a hot while. I just never had the time. But this Monday, I finally got to. I was able to do graphics. I got to see what being in a news studio was like. So that was really cool. News Source is kind of a UGA sponsored official news network giving out content on the local Athens area. I got to see a really, really cool guy. He's actually an independent film producer. That was so cool, getting to see him speak and everything. He is such a great guy. So I did my laundry. I know that doesn't sound like a big achievement, but for someone who's rarely done laundry before, it was a pretty big achievement. I'm gonna start doing that way more often, probably every week, because it's like, it's honestly fun. I didn't know that it could be fun, but it's it's fun. I love it. Another thing that I'm proud of is that I actually deleted a lot of my messaging apps such as TikTok and Facebook. I was catching myself using those two apps way too much. Social media definitely has an upside. There is a lot of information and education on the social media apps, but there's also a lot of brain rot. I also had a lot of fun with my people doing VR. There was a Grady workshop for VR, so that was really cool. I got to try out some games, got to experiment with VR headsets, and that was a really cool just having that experience. No, he's not good. <laughs> he's he's right, not good. Another good thing that happened was that I got to film with my networking partner again. We actually like started filming a music video. We got that shot. I used my new equipment. That was fire. I've improved on reading the Bible more, especially after a call. I called a good friend of mine and uh, we read the Bible. He gave me some advice on how to live life for the Lord. That really turned my week from a bad one to low-key like decent because it made me realize even though there's so much stuff going on you really got to take life one day at a time live life for the lord and he will take care of you i've actually started to read the bible every morning after i wake up i read an entire two pages just to get myself up into like what is the lord wanting to speak to me today so i think that's all the positives you know what we gotta do y'all we gotta go on to the negatives. So for the negatives, oh boy, oh boy. Just classes started getting rough. I got hit with tests and homeworks I did not understand. It was something else, especially in my MIST class. We're learning about regression. I don't know half of what that means. So locking in to the studying is kind of hard to do a lot of times, especially with technology being an integral part of your life. I would always give myself excuses like just one more video or just 20 more minutes. One we're sure 99% of the time it's never just one more it's more like 20 more 40 more like especially with YouTube there are definitely better things that I could do I could literally be making more videos doing homework locking in actually and it's not a good way to give yourself rest like if you're tired and if you need to sleep just get sleep it's not gonna help if you go to 3 a.m. in the morning to try and study when you're already tired you can wake up early in the morning tomorrow you'll be so much more productive. Don't let anyone tell you that grades matter more than you. They don't. The only thing that matters really, truly, is the Lord and you, bro. If your health is taking a hit based on your lifestyle, change your lifestyle, dog. One thing that I can improve on is that I gotta truly live life to the fullest. Life is fleeting. Make every day seem like the last day, because you never know. I need to realize how blessed I am to be on this earth and to be living, and to be breathing, and to be in a shelter. Like, look at this place. I'm one of the lucky ones. Like, there are people who haven't even heard the concept of a dorm room. And also, something I should improve is, bruh, I need to get a haircut, I'm not gonna lie, like, dog, that's way too long. I need to, I need to like, high key, go to University Cuts tomorrow, chop it. I know some people say that they like long hair. Bro, mine is too long. My hair gets so messed up. Girls, I don't know how you do it. All right. Anyway, let's talk about a Bible verse. This verse was actually a verse that really spoke to me this week. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 2 to 3. And return to the Lord your God, you and your children, 
and obey his voice in all that I command you today, with all your heart and with all your soul, then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have mercy on you. And he will gather you again from all the peoples where the Lord your God has scattered you. Now, this verse really spoke to me because when I went away from the Lord, I was extremely depressed. I was like, this week is so bad. Because the Lord wasn't at the center. My grades were at the center. My relationships were at the center. And it felt like I was doing everything wrong. Sometimes the Lord uses bad things that happen to steer us back towards Him. If I had kept on going that route of being away from the Lord and not making Him my center, who knows where I'll be now? And that wraps up my journal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye!